We got a nice little breeze. You'll need some shades, but you'll also want to stay hydrated when you're out here. You can hear the music behind me on both sides. So on this side, the south side of me is Metropolitan Park where they have live music and performances. And then over here to the other side, Daly's Place, also live performances here as well. You'll also notice that Gator, this actual Gator Boulevard, Gator Bowl Boulevard is actually closed and shut down. So you'll have to have a detour route, but there's plenty of parking all over the area. So it won't be difficult to find a parking spot and come hang out. It's a great time, but the heat is on for the performances and outside. Crews have been getting ready for jazz in the air day and night. Jazz Fest has seen many locations from the Duval Courthouse lawn to the former site of landing. This year it kicks off with two stages, Daly's Place and Metropolitan Park. The theme is always come early when you come downtown. Some roads will also be closed for food trucks and vendors, but there will be plenty of parking at the lot surrounding Daly's Place and the stadium. This is the map for Jazz Fest 2024. There are going to be a lot of events happening, but specifically, Daly's Play Stage is where some of the performances will be. And then right across the street, Gator Bowl Boulevard, you can find the rest of the performances right here at Metropolitan Park. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be very eventful, but it will also be hot. Temperatures will peak into the 90s all weekend and will feel even hotter. There will be four JTA cooling buses for anyone who needs a break from the heat, but you'll want to plan out how to stay hydrated. What will you have to kind of help people get through the, the hot temperatures before the sunset? Uh, plenty of water and cold beverages, of course, but we will also have four uh, JTA cooling buses on our footprint. And there will also be a chance to shop. Vendors like Leticia, who traveled from Atlanta, is one of many at Jazz Fest. So what do you sell? We have um, jewelry, handbags, uh -huh. handmade cowboy hats, a variety of stuff. Is this going to be your first year out selling during Jazz Fest? Yes. Sound checks are complete. Vendors are ready. And jazz lovers are excited for some good life music. And the city is ready to host one of its biggest annual events. And folks, don't forget your chair along with some water. Take a look at the performances for tonight. Some of the popular performers include Rittner and also Rittner and Groose and also Brian McKnight. They will perform tonight, but we also have a complete list. The map for the entire layout, this is massive. There'll be plenty of space, definitely come down. There's a little bit of a breeze, but in addition to that, there's gonna be performances all night long. And we even have some of these cool little cooling stations to keep us cool. But once the sun goes down, it'll feel better. Uh, but in the meantime, it's definitely gonna be a fun evening. Come hang out and you can find the full list of performances on this story in our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.